What is up, Chiefs Kingdom? This is Chris in Real Life, and I'm doing a quick Chiefs Talk episode. Um, again, for those of you who may be new, um, this is just me, Chris in Real Life. I'm not editing, I'm not doing anything. If I flub, I look like an idiot. That's just me, whatever. Um, what I want to talk about today is just a few quick updates. Um, we have uh, just recently picked up uh, Mo Claiborne. He came from the Jets, I believe, last, and uh, he should be, I wouldn't even necessarily say an upgrade, I don't even think he'd be considered an upgrade, but uh, he does bring a lot of veteran experience to the team, which for us is great news. Uh, it helps our guys pick up, get a little bit better, um, give a little bit more experience and depth in there. Uh, I still wanna see another big move, honestly. I, I think that Chiefs, in my opinion, should uh, give up some draft picks and go for Jalen Ramsey. I want, um, I want fire on the defense. Honestly, I want to. I want someone that brings that swag. I know that uh, Tyron Matthew does have a lot of that in him. Um, I feel like he's mellowed out a little bit and just sort of brings, uh, you know, he does have and bring the competitive nature to the defense that, that I think that we need. But I want to see hostility I want to see anger I want to see fired up I want to see smack talking I want to I want to light a fire under these guys asses you know um that's what I want to see I want to see um just some of that nastiness that uh that he brings I, I feel like that we should try to make that move I I want to say we're in win now and I think that even making a gamble like that I feel like that we can you know still pay Chris Jones and still pay you know Tyreek where I think that, you know, he's going to come in a little bit cheaper than what we thought before. But, uh, yeah, I want to see that fire. Uh, I'm really excited. Have you, I don't know if any of you guys have been watching any of the preseason games. I've been real impressed with, I want to say it was, it was like the Colts, like third string quarterback. And dude looked lit, honestly. I think that he did real good. So, um, Outside of that, uh, if you guys have been watching the franchise, there's been a lot of really cool stuff on there. Uh, you know, if, if you haven't seen it yet, go check them out. They're putting them out, I want to say, about every other every other week or so. And I want to say that it's going to be switching once the season kicks off to once a week uh, on Wednesdays. They just released it. Go check it out. It's real cool. A uh, behind-the-scenes film uh, for what the team is doing in the offseason and... Um, you know, you get clips here and there on whether it be on here, whether you're following them on the Chiefs app and uh, some of those other platforms where you can find some of these things. But uh, they go into detail. You know, this week they talked about Anthony Sherman and, you know, how he likes to go big for coming in. They did a small little snippet on D, uh, uh, D Rob for uh, him doing the Blue Angels uh, thing, which I, you know, I saw on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, they did a little bit of um, Colin Saunders. Uh, you know, you got to see his beautiful daughter that was uh, born while he was at the Senior Bowl uh, training for that. And, you know, him leaving his family and the difficulty on that. I think they're there for three weeks for, uh, you know, throughout the whole training camp. So, uh, you know, the you get to see the difficulty it is on the families. And, uh, you know, they want to move him away and get him out of the city to, you know, bunk up with other people and you know build that brotherhood and camaraderie uh you know to help strengthen that connection that they have with their other players and uh you know just purely focus on football and i love that i love that the chiefs do that so uh this week's episode was real good one of the things i do want to talk about one of the snippets in the episode i i rewatched it like three or four times um it's about like four fifths of the way through the episode but it's when they get into training camp and it's like day one they're doing like this early ass morning briefing they don't have it I don't remember seeing a time stamp on there but you can tell a lot of the players are tired it's real early morning like five o'clock five thirty in the morning just early grind and they sit down and they have this um this real good speech uh Andy hops off basically telling them that the meeting's about meeting some of the other people off the field that you don't see that's, you know, contributing to making sure this team's successful. And I love that they, you know, give those guys a moment to, you know, sit and appreciate it. But before you get in, 
you don't really get to see those guys. Uh, I mean, they, they have a small snippet in the video of uh, what they do to prepare for training camp, but you know, you don't see him speak necessarily. But after Andy speaks, he, he, uh, he pulls out uh, Clark Hunt and Clark Hunt gives this uh, short, probably two or three minute speech about how, you know, you know, you, he basically starts off saying you can take shortcuts. You can, um, you know, you can take shortcuts and you get a, you know, short term success. But, um, and he's basically talking about, you know, uh, PEDS, PEDs, performance enhancing drugs. Uh, you can take shortcuts, get short term success. Um, you know, but it will catch up to you. Uh, but if you want to be successful long term, you have to, you know, pay attention and listen to the coaching staff because they know what they're doing and, um, you know, respect them and their roles and what they're doing for, for the players. Um, and then after that, he goes on to say that uh, anyone that played last year, they uh, they understand how close they were, that they the Chiefs were literally inches away from making a big play or uh, uh, making a push to the Super Bowl and that their goal is to get back to the championship and make it to the Super Bowl and, um, you know, win the division uh, or conference trophy, uh, which uh, he goes on to say that his father's name, uh, Lamar Hunt, is on that trophy. And it's it, it and how important bringing that home to the Chiefs organization is um, to the Chiefs kingdom. And then goes on to say that uh, anything less than you know winning that and going to the Super Super Bowl uh, would not be considered a success for the season. And uh, honestly, with you know the first few times that I watched it, it was it was powerful, and it's fantastic to see that um, you know they're not looking or focusing on anything less and building the success to get excuse me to get to that point. So, if you guys haven't yet, go check out the episode. Um, it, I want to say it's uh, it's it's the fan it's the it's called the franchise, and uh, the episode's called start, like start your engines or uh, prepare your engines. Um, if you don't, uh, if you decide you don't want to watch the full episode, I do highly recommend going and checking out. Like I said, it's about three fourths of the way through. So if you hop back to that point, they do. Uh, you know, go through some of the small snippets of some of the cool things that, uh, Jesus Christ, my bad. Um, but they go through and they talk about, uh, you know, just before that, uh, how the people show up and what they do and, uh, how they prepare to get to training camp and some of the stuff that they do, uh, you know, just for a cool, like Anthony Sherman and, uh, some of the things that he does to show up for camp. Um, so, uh, just after that is when Clark gives the speech. So check that out. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, uh, like, subscribe to the channel. If you guys like seeing the Chiefs videos, go Chiefs. Um, another thing I wanted to speak about, uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And uh, something really exciting. I know that I've done Madden and I want people to do it again. I'm going to do a, a jersey giveaway. Um, I'm gonna put a price limit. I'm probably gonna say no more than a hundred dollars, but uh, I want people from different teams, and I, I, I talk. Um, I, I'm bringing some people over from my NFL Talk episodes. If you guys haven't yet, you can always check those out. Uh, the episode's basically real uh, short and sweet, just sort of talking about um, the team, my opinions on the players. Um, maybe I might talk about training camp or uh, even some of their preseason games and how uh, some of these other guys are performing. So, uh, you know, sort of bring in a different crowd. Uh, this is, uh, I guess I would say my main, but this is my Chiefs channel, uh, it would be Chiefs Talk. But between this and the NFL Talk episode, I, I'm, I'm wanting people to get in, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification for uh, notifications for videos going up, uh, share the video. I'm gonna be doing um, basically a giveaway for a jersey. It doesn't necessarily even have to be the Chiefs team. Um, $100 limit uh, for a player jersey. So the people will get to pick out their players, pick out the jersey for the team. Um, and I will, uh, going forward, I'll probably do another episode on when I'm gonna do the deadline for being. Um, but I wanna get that uh, subscriber count up, get the views up, get some more people in here. 
Um, check out some of the other episodes, like NFL Talks. Um, it, you know, it might be news, it might be a team. I put on there in the description what team I'm talking about, or if it's just gonna be generic news uh, for quick short videos. So, if you guys haven't yet, check those out. Again, like, subscribe, comment below, get those comments in there, and um, you know, for a chance to participate to get one of those uh, jerseys. So I'm, like I said, going forward, one of the videos coming up, I'm gonna be doing a, a deadline. So get that in there, and I'm gonna be doing a drawing at random. So you guys have a good one, and how about those juice? Let's go.